Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 and I'm here at Battery Plus Bulbs. Um, so in Chantilly, Virginia, the location here. And the reason I'm here is because as you saw in my last video, I have these guys right here, which have given a really good life, but now it's time for them to go to bed. It's time for them to be retired. So as I mentioned, for safety's purposes, if you want to make sure that these guys are disposed of properly, meaning they are safe and have the least chance of having a fire or very bad things happening, you should take them to a proper lithium battery recycling facility. So in most locations where there's a batteries plus, you can take them and have them disposed of properly. Now, in my case, if a battery is in seemingly good outside condition, like this guy right here is, they will take the battery for free. But if there is some, what looks like external damage, you will have to pay a nominal fee. But in my case, the nominal fee is 20 cents per cell. So that's a very small cost to have peace of mind. So in this case, all four of these batteries, since there is some indication that they may have uh, some damage or be on the verge of rupturing. And what I've been told is if you smell these and they smell like a nail polish, acetone type of smell coming from them, that's often a precursor to say that the batteries may, the, the external shell may be damaged and they may be close to failure. So that's a simple thing that you can do just to inspect your cells, give them a whiff test. If they, if you don't smell it, then they're probably okay. If you do smell something, you might want to just be a little extra careful about that. So for the cost of less than a buck, I'm going to have peace of mind knowing that these cells are going to go to their resting place in a nice, safe manner. And I'm not going to have to worry about it. Oh, and I also had this extra one cell that was just sitting around in my toolbox. So I'm taking care of that too. All right, guys. So if you don't have a battery plus bulbs near you, you can also look up online. I think I mentioned in the last video, just Google lithium battery recycle facility or lithium battery recycle near me and you should come up with some of the locations in many places um, like where I live there is a county uh, weight hazardous waste uh, disposal facility that you can take things to and those places oftentimes aren't free but they have a minimum charge that they'll uh, charge you just go ahead and make sure it's done properly now I know a lot of guys are like I can just use a salt water bath and put it in the garbage. But you know, just from talking to the consultant here who is actually trained on the proper disposal of lithium batteries, he's never even heard of the salt water bath thing. So I know a lot of guys swear by it. You have to make your own decision of how you're going to do. But if you want to be 100% sure that the batteries that you're disposing of are going to be safe and aren't going to cause a problem down the line, just find a, a proper recycling facility and just take care of it that way. All right, guys, that's it. Our house 21 sign out. Remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, do it all over again. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and all of those words out there. And on the, the Venom RC Lifestyle page, Castle Creation fan page. You know how to find me in the RC Physics Sandbox, where you can just talk and hang out and do whatever you need to do for RC. All right, guys, our house 21 sign out. Remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. Peace.